The following film footage represents a breakthrough technology in power generation, and it's been developed to the extent that it's now ready for commercial exploitation. Located in an industrial area of Budapest, Hungary, housed within a sprawling manufacturing facility, spins a 15-ton generator that's unlike any generator the world's ever seen. As a result of 19 years of high-level research and development, Gamma Manager KFT has discovered and harnessed a new source of energy, one that's commercially viable and destined to revolutionize the future of energy production. This technology, known as the EBM machine, or Energy by Motion machine, is a uniquely configured rotating machine using laminated steels and copper windings, similar in many ways to large commercial motors or generators in use today. The similarity, however, ends when one measures the combined electrical and heat output while being rotated through the magnetic field, a previously unknown source of energy which exists in the magnetic field is extracted and utilized due to its unusual geometry and high iron loss. These and other parameters enable existing EBM machines to consistently produce more than 40 percent excess sellable energy and the commercial units produce significantly more. Leading the development team for the last 20 years has been Professor Leslie I. Zabo. His research is documented in over 60 publications, monographs, and books. Working on a belief that the inherent energy within the electromagnetic field had not been fully tapped, Dr. Zabo organized a team of highly specialized scientists and engineers to begin studying the effects of manipulating the magnetic field. Initially, there were simultaneous labs in Toronto, Budapest, London, and Houston each working on various aspects of this research. Since 1986, Gamma Manager KFT, the Canadian company's successor, has been based in Budapest. That's where scientists and engineers have concentrated their efforts on perfecting the energy by motion EBM technology, a highly efficient and economical type of cogeneration system for electricity as well as heat and shaft power using electromagnetic fields as fuel. The process of perfecting this technology was accomplished using classical engineering due diligence. A mathematical model was then created. A prototype would be constructed and tested. The exact measurement of the input-output ratios of the energy was then calculated. This test data would then be checked against the mathematical model to ensure that the scientists were on the right track. This was done for several years until the geometry was altered and perfected and significant energy gains could be measured. The Gamma Laboratory Museum of odd-looking rotating devices represent but a few of the hundred or so prototype units built, tested, and discarded. The BB LEGO unit is the first true EBM machine to employ the unusual geometry discovered by the Gamma scientists, and it tipped the scales at a mere 150 kilograms. Considered a toy by some onlookers, and though its output is measured in mere watts, it proved the technology as early as 1992. Next to be designed and built was the C4 unit, weighing in at 1,500 kilograms. This unit was tested and retested for the next four years, allowing the scientific team to better understand the operating parameters. The C4 unit was tested for well over 100,000 man-hours and is fully documented in extensive logbooks. Finally, the 15,000 kilogram EBM 720 unit was built in 2000 and is currently in operation. It consistently produces over 15 kilowatts of sellable energy. The entire testing procedure since 1992 has been carefully set up to measure not only the electric output but also the heat output. The white thermal box covering the EBM 720 machine is a carefully constructed double-walled enclosure and its purpose is to accurately measure the total heat output. To ensure that there was no measurement error, Dr. Zabo enlisted the help of Dr. Erno Petz, one of the foremost experts in power generation in Europe. He's won numerous awards worldwide for his research and publications in the fields of power generation and thermodynamics. All aspects of the testing procedures, measuring devices, and test data have been inspected and verified by Dr. Petz. Owing to its very simple construction, 
The economics of the EBM units are indeed favorable. A commercial unit will weigh in excess of 100 tons and contain a vertical access or rotor. It can be housed in a concrete bunker if necessary or desired and can be connected directly to the existing electrical network or a local industrial facility. A simple and inexpensive drive motor connected to the shaft of the EBM machine is all that is required to begin operation. Once up to the operational speed, the drive unit is disengaged and the system will require no further input power. The possibilities with EBM technology are just beginning to be understood. As with most discoveries through the ages, skepticism and disbelief greet the inventor and the invention. To ensure that this technology becomes a commercial reality in the near future, a full-scale commercial unit is being manufactured. Licensing for both manufacturing and distributing of EBM units is currently underway worldwide. One such distribution license was granted to G Energy Technology Inc. of Toronto, Canada. Their marketing efforts are in full swing as the search for partners and end users began with the signing of the license in the summer of 2000. EBM Technology, a piece of the future, has come to the present.